Hey y'all, what's up? What y'all doing today? Me, I just finished doing yoga. And um, I'm waiting on my hair to dry, bro. Like I couldn't even have a real good session because I was worried about my freaking curls. And like, I just can't believe my hair is this short again. But my hair kind of damp and once I once it dries more then I'm able to stretch this area better. If y'all knew, um, my hair curls tighter at the back of my hair. So therefore it's more shrinkage. So by the time it's dry and I stretch that out, it's gonna be full. But here's what I don't like about doing my hair. I feel like my face always be like full of freaking product, bro. So I'm just using this to kind of clean my face. Cause when, like, okay, y'all know I'm a sucker for the middle part. But when I do the, you know, try to make, do a look, it's like my hair be in my face so much more that can set me up for bumps. <laughs> I ain't trying to break out. I ain't trying to have this. But when my hair touch my face, that's what happens. Okay. So I'm about to remove the stuff. Because, you know, this right here, I dropped it, y'all, and broke my top. But it removes, like, dirt. It removes makeup, cleanses, smoothes, and it's, like, no rinse. It's a no harsh rubbing, but I'm a heavy-handed girl. Thumbs up this video if you are a heavy-handed girl. Because... I'm just rough, bruh. So, you, it's no rinse, but I still like to put some cold water on my face. Just a little bit. So, I'm about to try some. See, I'm so heavy-handed. <laughs> I'm about to try this uh, new sunscreen for the first time with y'all. My gripe with sunscreens is once I put it on my face, you know, it protects or whatever, but it tends to look a lot oily. And I know people be like, oh, it's the glow of your skin is glowing, but I don't want my face to look like my mama just rubbed it down with Vaseline. So my face won't be ashy. Like, I hate that look. I, I feel like it looks so much cuter on other people it's like they skin be looking glowing and stuff my skin just be looking oily with the wrong sunscreen i'm gonna do a sunscreen video let me know if y'all want to because i can really just say that because i'm wearing sunscreen regardless but um man the only sunscreen that i've had a little bit of success with is not the ones that's over the counter but i ordered them off of this website it's like korean skincare i'm opening up my black girl sunscreen for the very first time and i'm gonna try it with with y'all i've actually heard mixed reviews about it some people say it left them oily some people say oh my god i loved it the whole purpose of i feel like the idea behind the black girl sunscreen brand is when we use i feel like it's mineral sunscreens and other sunscreens that leave a cast a lot of sunscreens that's geared to the public leaves a white cast on our skin and we'll be looking like ghosts so this is supposed to be like prevent that or whatever this is my second round i just cleaned the other sunscreen i had on my face for this morning but because my face just felt oily from like my hair touching it and stuff but pray for me this is the consistency it's a lot whiter than the ones I use, I feel like. I feel like it's hard to rub in. The sunscreen that I use, it's not this hard to rub in. I'm not feeling the application process. Okay, I already feel like I look glowy already. Let me show y'all in natural lighting though. Bruh, less than five minutes with this sunscreen on and I feel like my face already looks a little bit oily. 
Now, I know that on camera, it's probably looking like a little natural glow. Like, I understand. Hey, what's up? You know, a little glow. But if it's like this before, like, the initial, like, 15 minutes set, because you need to let your sunscreen set for 15 minutes, it also has to be reapplied every two hours, which is necessary. But the more product I put on my face, the more I look oily. Okay? So, I'm about to run some errands, and y'all going to be looking at my face the whole day. This is a test. My first time using Black Girl Sunscreen. I'm hoping for the best I have heard mixed reviews because the my only um reasoning for like keep the that I keep trying all like a lot of sunscreens is because after a while people be looking at me like are you hot because my face literally looks that greasy like is it sweat is it what but it don't even be beads of sweat it just looks like i've been running and it's just my face just looks oily i don't like it on me some girls can pull it off but i ain't one of them i'm just not one of them but we finna roll first impressions what natural light keep your fingers crossed and let me go run these errands can you move your child out the way, please? If you love her. Thank you. Anyways, um, I'm just now pulling up, about to go in this Sephora. I've I didn't even know they had a Sephora at this location. This my face right now. How do I look? How do I look? I'm glowing. Cause right now it's giving me very much Vaseline. <laughs> it's giving me very much Vaselina. Okay? Right now. Y'all might be like, girl, you are over-exaggerating because everybody got their own desired look. But in person, bro, I'm greasy looking as hell. But I'm about to go into Sephora. I've had Sephora gift cards, y'all. I have more than one, actually. And um, I didn't even know they had Sephora in this. First of all, let's address. Um, I got a gift card for Sephora, but it was like JC Penny sephora and they don't accept that gift card at the sephora standalone locations you got to go to the one in jc penny so i didn't even know they had one at this location i'm about to go in here i'm pray that they got like they stocked up in my color because to keep it g they probably get grabbed first <laughs> because you know it ain't you know so i don't know the, what my experience when when i'm going to find some stuff they they normally be out because but they be having an array of like the lighter shades but we're gonna see um i've been using fancy foundation and it's expired it ain't expired but i feel like it don't go did my skin tone shade lighting up like i'm trying to figure out what the business is because like listen i was i had two so two sephora i had two fancy um foundation colors i had 420 and i had 430 430 was what i would wear on vacations and stuff or you know when i've been out and got a little sun kissed get a little darker in the summertime cool i haven't really traveled as often as i would as i used to okay so the 420 i i, I got rid of the 430 because i think it was too a little bit too orange just making me look a little orange i feel like i'm in between you know it's like warm cool and neutral cool make me look casket ready warm make me look like a oompa loompa neutral just doesn't go i feel like i need to mix and i ain't got no mixed money <laughs> but i got these gift cards though so we're gonna see what it do with the foundations um i think i'm over <laughs> i think i'm over the fenty shade because even the 420 recently when i wore i stuff like this do not match my skin like and it wasn't like orange or anything. It just did not match my skin. So I'm looking to maybe... Last year, I picked up like some... What is it? Estee Lauder foundation. And that was cool. It went on so good. I love the application process, but it was too orange. And it was like in a slap in the middle of Corona. And I know that I wasn't... I don't know. I don't know why I didn't return it. But I feel like I should have because it was like $50 for that foundation, bro. But I still got it and it, it's a little bit too dark for me i don't know what shade i am bro i just know i'm kind of done with with the fancy i want to explore with something else before i start using fancy i used to use nars it was cool it was a good like starter and before i used nars it was like maybelline like you know the, the drugstore ones but i just love a good quality foundation and i'm about to go in here and see also i'm about to see if they got the toner man i look oily let me get in here before i get back <laughs> Mad. 
They got a lot of sales tax. I'm wondering what that's about because I'm seeing it a lot. Like twenty dollars was twenty. Twenty two was. That one don't. That's the only one that don't make sense. All the rest of them make sense and match up. But like, what's the deal? Because it's on everything. Well, not everything, but. It was 56.14 now. Do I need to grab me one? It's only like two more left though. Coco Deep and Coco Radiant. That's the darkest shade. Yeah, I don't think it's my color, but like, what's the tea? Which one is this? That's, um. Oh my God. Medium dark. Perfectly. Oh my gosh, yeah. But I feel like when I get home, it's not gonna be like this. <laughs> um, no, it, it should be. A, it should be a good match. Uh, I should have put it on my bags, but it looks like it matches. Yeah. I don't want it to change to like oxidize. I don't want it. But this looks really good though. Y'all, how about while I was in the store? Damn, I feel like I need some Hermes or some. But how about when I was in the store, I found another gift card in my in my wallet. Like, I found a $25 gift card extra in my wallet. So, I'm going to wait till I get home to show y'all, like, in what I got. Because I'm about to run to the store. Got more errands to uh run. What the girls say on that video, I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about. God damn, I just got an accident and I got to keep going. So, I'm going to call y'all a fuck back. I got to go. I got to go. Oh, whatever, because I'm not stopping. She was like, and I'm not stopping. I gots to go. I gots to go. That's me right now. But I'm going to just give y'all a little update. I'm going to review, bruh. My skin, I look so oily, and I don't care what nobody say. I'm going to give y'all a close-up. Now, I did uh, test a foundation right here out on my cheek. But, um, wait. Y'all just wait till I stop this car so y'all can pretty much see just how oily that looks that's not even a look like come on Kai. come on because you're driving like miss daisy so this is my conclusion about the sunscreen i don't like it i look oily now i looked at the packaging and i see that it's um waterproof so that might be why it's going so hard like with the glitz but this is the side i tried some um i sampled some foundation in the store so i wiped it off a little bit i mean i wiped there's no sunscreen right here but you see how this looks even the little glow i think it's a section that i didn't wipe off even that little glow subtle then you got grease so I was debating on whether to take whether to take it back or keep it um for you know if I go to the pool and something like that and I need the protection because if I'm not mistaken it's like 45 SPF let me check now I lie it's 30 SPF so I was like should I just keep it you know what I mean and use it but i'm like why would i i don't know when i'm going to the pool like i don't know when the next time i'm being in that kind of situation so it was like 15.99 y'all at target and i think i'm just gonna return it and um find something fitting when the time comes for something water water resistant but that's not what i was looking for and i hate the fact that i don't like the sunscreen and I probably should give it one more go, go. I might give it one more go, but most likely I'm gonna return it. I want my money back. Give me, give me my money back. So I've decided to go ahead and do a little haul because I got so sidetracked um, when I was shopping. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna give y'all a little haul while I'm looking like I got canola oil on my face. Like I know y'all see it, but Let's go ahead and get started. Um, it started off a free day, just in any way. <laughs> so this is the Sephora. This is what I got from Sephora. So I originally, y'all know I wanted the Estee Lauder foundation, 
find out they only carry in the standalone stores. They don't carry it in the um, JCPenney locations of Sephora. But that's where my gift card was from. You know, that's where one of them were from, was from. But they take the other one too. So I ended up, my total went over my gift card. So I ended up using some of my other gift card. I need to look, because I feel like I got one more gift card around here somewhere, bro. Like, I had over over $200 in Sephora gift cards. Like, y'all probably like, what? Mind your business, mind your business. But yeah, so I'm gonna start off with the Sephora. I ended up getting the NARS um, foundation in the color, I'm in the color, in the shade um, medium slash dark five or New Guinea. Um, I feel like I've tried this one before and it like matched, but then it didn't match. But when I tried it on in the store, it really blended with my skin. Like I've never seen it. And this is a neutral shade. Um, I'm staying away from the warms and I'm staying away from the cools. I'm a, I'm a neutral girl. Brown skin girl. So I, I got the all day um, weightless one instead of getting like the sheer. They have a sheer one, uh, a long wear one. But I just went ahead and went with the weightless, you know, some weight, um, lightweight. It's like 16 hours of wear and it's oil free because we don't want this situation going on. But yeah, I ended up getting that. And I, I've never tried the concealers by NARS, so I ended up just getting the smaller one um, concealer, and I did not know what color to get. Oh my God, because I've been using the same concealer. I ain't gonna lie. I've been using um, the LA Girl concealer for a very long time. You know, it never did me nothing wrong, but I'm like, why not venture off and do, you know, have you a, a high quality backup? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like until that um la girl concealer until they do me bad i'm gonna keep using it <laughs> so i ended up getting the sample size of the nars concealer and it is in um medium dark medium dark as well but it's in the 1.5 and i don't know how to pronounce this i don't know how to pronounce this color shade but it's i mean let me try don't 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 talk about me y'all don't talk about me where is it uh alexa how do you pronounce s u c girl i'm not finished alexa alexa how do you pronounce s u c r e i pronounce that sucre Sucre de Orgy. I don't know. Something like that. It's that one. You can look it up. Um, yeah. This the one I'm gonna try. If it don't work, babe, I'm gonna be begging this stuff so fast because I want my money's worth for my gift cards. <laughs> so um I definitely have used this before. I just went ahead and stuck with NARS. I'm not familiar with the other uh, I'm not familiar with like Smashbox. I'm trying to stay away from um, the Fenty. I just want to venture off, y'all, because I was using Fenty for years, like at least two years. And I just want to change, okay? So I used to use this way back in the gap. It used to do me so good. I think I ventured off into the Becca Primer, which is really, if you, if you get oily, if you, you know what I'm saying, get oily, that Becca, that Becca, <laughs> that Becca primer is going to get you right. I promise you. But the thing is, sometimes when I put it on my skin before I put the foundation on, because I still have some left, I still wear it. I mostly apply it to my freaking forehead so I won't be oily and stuff like that. But I used to, this is a pour and shine um, control primer. I hate how small it is, but I do remember this thing doing me right. So I have used that before. And this is probably what a bulk of where the, this was a big purchase, but I had to because I always wanted to, I had the sample size, loved it. And I was like, I'm gonna get the big size, but I just didn't want to pay $45 for it. What is it? You might ask. It's bum bum cream. Everybody know bum bum cream smells so good. If y'all have never tried this, Go to Sephora and just look at the, um, you don't have to, don't put it on in a store, but just open it up and like smell it. It smells so good. It literally smells like vacation. It smells so good. But um, yeah, it's it's like a coconutty. 
it's like a real tropical scent and it's just it's really moisturizing i went ahead and got the big one they did have a smaller one for twenty dollars but compared to the ounces it was like two ounces or something for 20 when you could get eight ounces so if it's two ounces for twenty dollars then it's gonna be four it's gonna be 40 something but this is eight ounces for 45 so i was like let me just go ahead and get the big one so yeah i got the bum bum cream it's popping now your girl i'm gonna be smelling good hide your hide everybody hide your sons hide your um your daddy's hot your grandfather's okay and that's everything i got from sephora so we moving right along um this is quite small i did run in gloss and i made a really small purchase i thought i was doing good this was like i have like, oh I'm, I'm not spending money today i'm you know so it started off with me spending my own money i paid six dollars for this it's so cute of course it's boo <laughs> But I really like that the fact that it's an organizer and um, I don't know if y'all know this, but it's like I got like a little end table over there and it's like a lot of stuff under there and I just want to organize it without looking like so much clutter is under there so I can put my envelopes in this side and like you know the stuff like airpods and stuff that sits on that um end table so it's cute um i kind of like this too it kind of adds a little character to it but it was five dollars for these bro 5.99 so I, I did pretty good with that this is where i did most of the damage tj Maxx. so I've always wanted this and I've seen it on Amazon. I feel like this is just a better deal. Um, I probably need to go price check, but I got a draw a drawer. <laughs> I'm being so country. I got a drawer organizer. Um, so I can put my spoons, my fork, you slide it in there, and it's it's a symbol on here. So you know I know why is siri talking to me through my airpod did i say siri anyways because that was just weird <laughs> so yeah you know how you have like your wooden spoons it's just like all on the side of the drawer because i have like the traditional um utensil organizer and it's just it's just not working i'm having to dig through the side of the drawer it's just everything there so i decided to yeah do this so i can put some stuff here some stuff here my spoons of course here and it just won't take up that much space or even at least be organized and i want to dig through it this was 12.99 and i feel like amazon was just probably selling the ones you put the spoon in your fork in and that the prices wasn't right i feel like i got more bang for my buck there um i also got this i want i don't know how i'm going to incorporate this why they look dirty on the corner i don't like that but i'm thinking about using this um in the drawer um to display something i don't know if i'm gonna put like vit my vitamins here or something but i want to set something here to kind of have a display i don't know but it was 3.99 so i feel like that was a really good price for something like this um, I don't, I'm, I don't need to show y'all everything. I did get some underwear. <laughs> I did get some underwear and it's, I'm not showing y'all my, my panties. Like, <laughs> I'm not showing y'all my panties. But it's like seamless and I got one, two, three, four, five pairs for $14, which I feel like Target would have robbed me. Target do be having some cute, um, panties, but yeah i'm not showing y'all my drawers like weird i managed to not get any black shirts but i was eyeing a couple because i love black tees but i've always wanted a shirt this like nude like a brown color and i found one with black writing see the sacrifice <laughs> that i made so it says reckless los angeles and i think that's cute because guess what this go this gonna um pair so good with like black leggings it's gonna be popping but hold on let me go wash my face or wipe it i i can't i'm i'm looking like i'm lit up like a christmas tree by the face hold on boom that can be something. okay i'm definitely not done i did some damage bro 
Okay, so here's a little knick knick stuff. Y'all seen this shirt? I love this shirt. This is gonna be so cute. I've always wanted something like a neutral, like a brown tone. I think it's like my first I am like a brown. No, I got like brown like crops. Anyways, um, I've seen some um Dr. Bronner soap. I love Dr. Bronner's. This is the cherry blossom though. I don't see that one a lot. You see the rose. So yeah. Uh you never can have um enough like backup soap i just i just want a whole little spa section in my bathroom <laughs> just dedicated to like pampering myself and i'm gonna do it but a lot of them um y'all know tj Maxx have a lot of stuff like have a lot of um skincare body care a lot of that stuff but some of that stuff gonna be looking right <laughs> anyways i picked up a candle because i cannot go in cj makes without getting a candle i freaking love candles and i've never seen this scent before it's called classic man and the first thing i was like classic man I don't, it probably give you a headache right so i smell it and i'm like yo this really smells good it's like a better version to me it's like a better version of the the um bath and body works what's the what's the um one that everybody be liking that smells like really masculine i had it one time it kind of smells like a man cologne why do i want to say like mahogany what is that candle comment below i know y'all know it's it comes in a black uh a black jar but it's like that but i feel like it's not overpowering like that one is this one is real cute. It, it smells like like a man's cologne, but it's it don't make your nose burn. Like it's not too strong. I feel like the other one is a little too strong. And everybody loved that candle from um Bath and Body Works. I don't know why I want to say Bed Bath and Beyond. Like it's too many damn bees. <laughs> I like it though. And yeah, like I ain't nothing like smelling a good man. Especially when he got one. <laughs> anyway, he's moving right along. I picked up some resistant bands and um, they were actually marked down. There was $6.99. It's not a big markdown. It was $6.99 and I bought it for $5.50. But I needed them regardless. It comes with five bands and they got different resistance. So I got light, medium, heavy, extra heavy, and extra, extra heavy. I did get this out the men's department because the girls was just like looking too cute. You know what I'm saying? I wanted the strong bands. And then I don't like all those like pink, all those colors. Just give me something that's like pretty much neutral. And you can see the neutrals have the gray. Then they have like a brownish green and two blacks. That's really all you need. I don't need the colors. My outfit gonna bring the colors, bro. So I did get this. And this was just like a last minute pickup purchase. I hope it works. <laughs> I hope it works. It's a foot calluses remover. And what caught my eye is the fact that it's rechargeable. The other ones that I saw ran on batteries and it rotates 360 and you can use it wet or dry. So it's waterproof. If I can see it, it said right here now, you see the logo where it's in the water. And I was like, yo, I can just recharge it up. I don't have to keep doing batteries. Like, I think that's great. And it also comes with um, two rollers to put on it. It comes with a regular grit and an extra coarse grit. And I just wanted to see how it worked. Like, cause you know, everybody got the, like the little foot grater thing that they didn't banned in some states and some people still be using them. But um, yeah, I'm excited about it. Ask me about this y'all. Ask me for an update on this. I need to be charging it up right now because I kind of want to use it tonight. And that's it for my TJ Maxx haul. Like, but I'm not done. I picked up some packages from um, the mailbox. So we got to open them right now. I'm pretty sure this box right here is PR. It has to be because I do not remember ordering this. Like, and how long would it say on here? It has my name. And it's just one of those weird packages where it doesn't have like a company name. So, yeah. And while I'm opening this package, y'all, can we talk about my hair? This is, I did my hair yes, last night and I don't like it today. It's, 
the roots are a, at the top. It's a little damp. For the most part, this and dry. I don't like it. And I feel like, I feel bad because this is like a new combo that I was trying to try. And I feel like it's a fail. For like, for like first or second day, like first day completely dry. This not giving what it was supposed to give. Like it's too much freeze. It's way too much freeze. Anyways. Let me open this. Because I'm really tempted to like do my hair over. But yo, I wasted a lot of freaking curl maker. And we know that ain't cheap. So let's see what this is. Yep, that's exactly what it is. It's a PR. And I'm excited about it. Because I want to see what it's going to do. Because I had an experience with this first. And let me tell you what this is. This is Taraji P. Henson's uh, new collection. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> the video. My first impressions of her first launch. Click there. Um, I had no idea that video was going to get over 100K views. But it was my opinion. And she got some new products. So I'm about to try these and see how I like them. Um, if you don't see me mention them again, you can always ask me how I like them. Or if I don't mention it again, you pretty much know. So I got the Keep Shining, um, the Dry Oil Mist. And it says for curly, curly and coily. Everybody love a good oil. And it says it's infused with safflower, safflower oil and what is this? Kamina? seed oil what is that is that something new girl let me find out you're putting something new in here silicone free pyramid free vegan cruelty free all that so this one i'm kind of confused on why they sent me some something for straight hair this is straight and wavy but it's just a shampoo y'all and it says it has a good lather i can't remember if i tried this one or not i probably have to go back and watch the video because i don't have any uh, no, I tried the one with the applicator, so I did not try this. This is a Serene Queen. I have a... I'm confused. Is this the new lunch? So, I have a Make It Rain, and it's a um, it's for all hair types, and it's a hydrate hydration-rich conditioner. I am so confused. <laughs> I am so confused. I thought it was like a new lunch. This one here is for all hair types. And what did I, did I get the leftovers? This is for all hair types as well. And it's the ride or die. It's a detangling leave-in conditioner. It says for all hair types. <laughs> and I definitely didn't try this. This must be the new, the new, new. Because I don't ever remember buying anything no, in a gray bottle. This is the Curls 4 Days. Curls 4, the number 4 days. And it is a moisture-rich curl cream. It says it's for curly and coily hair. And that makes me so happy. And it says it's infused with mango seed, butter, coconut, some other P-word, child, and broccoli seed oil. So it's supposed to be a lightweight cream. Um, and it hydrates the hair, da 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 da, -da whatever. But we will see. I will be testing this out, y'all. Um, follow me on the gram. I don't know if I want to do it like on a story feature or whatever, but I'm definitely going to be trying the curls four days. Okay? And that's how that one looks here. And that's all for the P PR package. I thought they sent me some new new, but I know this green, this green collection and stuff, I feel like that was already out if y'all watch my uh live stream y'all know that i told y'all that somebody stole my freaking package long story you probably have to watch the live stream because i don't i don't feel like talking about it again long story short we got package center and because they people no longer drop packages off at your door anymore because people be stealing so they lock them up in the in the lockers um and any kind of carrier has access to the lockers, um, UPS, Amazon, they have access. You put your stuff in, they put your, your number in, your house number, apartment number, wherever, whatever you living in over here, and um, you go get it. So they give you a code. You know the scannable things. I feel so bad because I don't want to mess it up. 
but they give you like one of those scan things. You know the things you be scanning for restaurants now and you don't have menus because of COVID and stuff. And they also give you a code that you can type in when you walk up to the locker so you can get your stuff. I got two packages delivered on the same day, right? But it had rained, a whole mishap with me leaving my keys and I could not go get my packages because it was raining and I don't live that close and um to the to the center and I didn't want to get wet. It was just yeah. So by the time I went to pick my stuff up, um I put the code, I mean I scanned the thing for the first uh, package and you know the locker pops open, bam. I get it. Ooh, I need to show y'all that. And um, so, okay, I pull up the code for the next one, scan, and it's like not found. What you mean it's not found? <laughs> so I was panicking and I was like, okay, I know I'm not tripping because I got a notification that says both of these packages were delivered. Okay. So out of curiosity, I rescanned the first code that I already opened up the locker with. And when I scanned the first code, it was like not found. So it gave me the same message. The other one, but it's not found because I already opened it. You know what I mean? So the other one, it wasn't, it says not found. So I'm like, yo, somebody stole my package. Like, why is my stuff not found? I got a notification. I got a code. This has never happened to me. And I've been using these um, lockers at several uh, places that I've lived. And I've never had this problem before. So I emailed the company. Um, they, I've been going back and forth with them in emails for days. I'm like, oh, where are you going to locate? Da, 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 da. And power be to God. Okay. My package was located. And I, I was really, really pissed at the people because it's like, yo, stop playing with me. But I got my package, y'all. Okay. It was stolen. I guess somebody returned it because it was located. Like, why Why did my why did my code locate it? Anyways, so I got my package. It's from IGW Beauty. I bought it with my own money. This is not PR. So I wanted to try um, the cream. Okay, I discussed this already on my, on my live. I'm not going to go into details about how to get the discounts and stuff. But I'm excited. <laughs> And I always love these little cute stickers that you get with your package with Eyes Your Beauty. Like, yes. So just to let y'all know, um, with my coupon code, it took $19 off, $19.60 off. Um, and that's huge because the the leave-in was $24 and the curl cream was $32. Y'all know Audrey Beauty ain't playing with these prices. <laughs> they said a luxury black hairline. We are not. I don't want to say no names. <laughs> We're not doing five dollar specials. I mean, I can respect the hustle just as long as the product is good. Make the product be good and let it work for me. But yeah, I've tr I have I've tried the leave-in. Y'all know that's kind of pretty much a staple for me. But I haven't tried the cream. I've tried the gel before, but I'm kind of I'm kind of happy to try the cream. And I'm loving like how they be securing it because they ain't been doing this. They have not been doing this for the packages, but I want to smell it. Oh, okay, Ijua. Girl. Okay, there we go. Yep, it smells just like the leave in, like a spirit minty, not too like pepperminty but it got a nice spearminty scent and i can't wait to try the cream oh my gosh yay they got all this in here and the leave-in so yeah curl cream leave-in you never can have so many leave-in especially when you can get two items which wasn't cheap, and I got $19 off my total, making my total for the two shipping. They robbed me with shipping, but it made my total for the two $36. Now, my subtotal is $36, and the cream itself is $32. That lets you know that the discount was, was a lovely, and I'm so happy. That, <laughs> let me know if y'all know where I got that from. <laughs> But I'm so happy that my package was located all of a sudden that I was raising hell. Because y'all had me messed up. Oh, this is discontinued packaging. 
that's why it was marked down because they changing the packaging for this one i think but ew. um and let me go get the target one i, I bought these tanks these tanks were so popular on um tiktok one girl did a uh a little tiktok and she was like y'all these tanks are so comfortable um go run to your target and get it it was like a heavy chested girl and she was like i don't even have on a bra it's holding me up da, 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 da. and i was like oh my god i need to go get that <laughs> yeah so i ran to target after i saw that video they held her up so well i i had to try it um seven dollars seven dollars each i got some other stuff but i'm gonna try one of these on now um are you kidding me this it's so good it's so cute it's so weightless it's what <laughs> it's giving what it was supposed to give yeah yeah <laughs> Sold out in store, sold out online. Every time they restock, I turn my notifications on and they was like, hey, the item's been restocked. By the time I click on it, it's usually like an hour after I see it. By the time I click on it, it's sold out again. It happened to me three times. And one time it was a work day. Cause most of the time I get the notifications on a weekend, but it was a work day. And I was like, everybody probably getting ready for work. Ain't nobody trying to shop and stuff. So I was able to get I had a large, hold on, let me go get the package. See, this is where I messed up. I should have just went ahead and secured the bag, but they kind of had me messed up because in order to for them to ship it, you have to have a certain amount in your car. Weird, right? But I, I got the large and the black, and I was trying to get the large. I think the pink one was like, the peachy pink one was sold out. So I was going to get the green one, and I got a large, but... When I'm searching to ask the, I can't stand a loud car. But when I was searching to add stuff to my cart, it sold out. So I had to take the large out of my cart, the black one. And I was like, you know what? I don't know if a medium, a large, I don't know what it's gonna fit me. So I went back and got the black one. I was finna say, I went back and got the black one in a medium. And I got the green one in a large so i can pretty much know what size to order next time why are they so small these is like broad tanks i don't know what they are but hopefully they be the move so it looks like this but i feel like ugh, these are so small <laughs> yo okay the black one is a medium but this is supposed to be a large dude this is like a large to y'all it, they look the same. Okay, let me try it on. So this is the medium. The black one is a medium. The back looks like this. And the front looks like this. Um, they, they really hyped it up. It's not bad. Anyways, it's super comfortable. It's like a, re, like a stretchy material. Um, if I'm at home, anyways, like 99 point nine percent of the time if i'm in the house i'm in the sports bra anyways i love sports bras they're like so comfortable um preferably like the t-shirt um material of a sports bra so comfortable to just lounge around the house in so this is cute especially if you want to go somewhere you know just throw it on you know it was seven dollars not a big deal but if this is the medium i wonder what the large is like let me see so this is a green one i want to hold my hand right here because i don't know if the camera's going to pick it up and see through it's not really but i i would rather not have to edit it out but um, this is the green one. I forgot to tell y'all that these are reversible. So you, you can wear it with a more of a dip or you can wear it like this for more of a scoop neck, but it's cute. I feel like the medium probably fits a little better. Let me make sure. Yeah, I, I like the black one better and I feel like the medium just fits me better. Mind you, I'm in the D's and I ain't talking D's nuts, but like for real, like I'm in the D's and a medium 
fix me like this and you know I turned it around this way so it can have a little bit of extra coverage but I probably won't be wearing it like this in the house. I'm gonna probably have it the other way where I can be comfortable and I don't have to worry about bending over and nothing falling out. Seven dollars people target and if y'all want to know what's the brand this is the brand um, of the shirts bras whatever the t-shirt style rib bras so go get yours if you're trying to see what the hype is about but don't be trying to wild out with the sizes because like i said i'm in the d's and this medium is fitting real proper so if you bigger than that a large probably would be for you because they so stretchy bro they are but what am i gonna eat i've been out all freaking day so yeah that pretty much concludes my little haul i'm kind of tired now y'all probably like uh i feel like my whole attitude is more like blood now because it's it's 10 o'clock at night i'm like i'm gonna grab a little bite to eat and take a little relaxing bath i cannot wait i i really love pampering myself like self-care so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna put all this shit up because like what but like this video if you have not already go ahead and hit that button so get into the habit of hitting it off rip every time you see a video let me just go ahead and hit it before i forget go ahead and do that for me but anyways um let me know if you try anything that i showed y'all in this haul or anything interests you or you want to follow up on something like let me know y'all but i'm gonna throw these little bras in the wash in the little washer and then i'm gonna see what they wash like and then i'm going to wear them quick question comment below do you wash your clothes before you wear them or do you just buy new clothes and just wear them and then wash them after um no judgment but i just want to know um because i've been getting into the habit of just like washing all of my stuff unless it's like from those really really cheap stores that you know is gonna but even even then i wash them but i don't dry them i will like hang it to dry or like set it on you know what i'm saying let it air dry but i feel like girl in the video already bye you guys i love you thanks so much for supporting your girl hit the subscribe um button and all the youtube uh what everybody be saying at the end of the video yeah that bye